<clears throat> you are watching Endeavor TV with the Samsung N140 with Windows 7 installed. We are going to do some um, tests now with YouTube HD, as you can see here. Then we have uh, Counter Strike, uh, Photoshop, Microsoft 2007 Office, and so on. We're going to show you in the next few minutes. As I said, let's start off with a YouTube HD trailer of Iron Man 1. I already preloaded it. Now as the, the, we have the maximum lightning, uh, not by, the maximum backlight on right now. We have a little bit of sun shining here, so you can see what the difference in the colors are. As you can see, YouTube HD or HQ high quality video or the view 2.5 million times plays really, really smooth. So that should be enough. We have, of course, Internet Explorer 8. Then next, close all tabs. We are going to, or I am going to show you. Um, the Big Buck Bunny in 1080p and 720p. Let's start off with the 1080p. That's 10 minute video with 700 megabytes. It's encoded with the H264 codec. And let's jump a little bit forward to faster movements. So this is 1080p. We're using the Media Player Classic. And as you can see, we don't have the 25 frames per second that should be here, but it's playable. Not enjoyable, but playable. If there's too many things moving on the screen, then it's getting a little bit slow. Let's see the same scene in 720p. <clears throat> This is a modified version of the Windows Media Player Classic, of course. You can download it with the k -Lite codec pack, for example. It has hardware um, <coughs> HD acceleration, so that's why it plays everything a little bit smoother than VLC most of the times. And yeah, as you can see, really, really, really nice playback. 720p without problem. 10 minutes, 300 megabytes, H.264 codec. This was called the Big Black Bunny. Then, yeah, of course, we are able to play standard DivX or XVID movies. <clears throat> As you can see, it takes a little bit to open them up because they are, even though they are on my hard drive. So, as you can see, when the sun is shining, the you can see the screen you can't see the screen really good because it doesn't have a good background lightning it only has 200 nits but if the scenes are a little bit brighter then it's possible as you can see if you are moving the camera the angle viewing angle from below is really really bad and that's a problem because this is the maximum that you can put the screen back. It's 115 degrees. Yeah, from the side. Even though it's matte, you can't see that much. But of course, we have now a light source. And from here, you can see not really good colors. So, uh, let's do a Microsoft Office document next. Let's just open up Word. Here yeah, I made a little shortcut list for Windows 7. Um, let's just scroll through this. It's nice and fast. There's, of course we don't have so much space to the top, but you can change it if you choose minimize here. And then we have more space to work here with. And then if you want to still use the top, you can just click on the tabs and then use them. <clears throat> so Office 2007 um, opens up really fast. The next thing would be Photoshop. 
Of course, IRO is working even though we only have the GMA 950 <coughs> GPU inside to make the um, shortcuts work, like the FN buttons and <coughs> the light and everything else. You have to install the Magic Keyboard from the Samsung website drivers and then another driver pack which is called... I've, give me one second, I'm the magic keyboard yes and the easy display manager even though it says on the Samsung website uh, website there for XP <coughs> you should still just try it out and if you want to use the scroll function for the single touch touchpad but you can scroll sideways and to the top and bottom you have to install the synaptics drivers from the synaptics.com website so Photoshop CS4 Let's open up a 5 megapixel <coughs> picture here, as you can see, 5, um, five megabytes. This is Cologne, and we're just going to cut out a piece here with this tool. Maybe I should duplicate the layer, yes, delete that one, and then try figure out why the mouse won't listen interesting maybe let's open up another picture <coughs> interesting This didn't happen to me before, but um, from my previous experience, you can draw on it and you can um, change pictures fairly well, but because you only have one gigs of RAM installed, it's hard to work with it. Like in a way that if I would cut out a piece now and would move it around, it would move like really, really slow like that. But you can still work with it. So this was Photoshop, kind of failed. And the last but not least, Photoshop, uh, Photoshop, um, Counter Strike Portable, and the 70 megabyte 1.6 version here, <coughs> which is gonna start up really quick from my USB stick, and then we're gonna check out the graphics, as you would call them. While this is starting up, I'm gonna show you the plugins. We have a standard um, LAN plugin or plug VGA USB 2.0. This one gives out um, battery or gives out uh, power even if the computer is turned off. Um, you can change that in the BIOS though. Microphone headphone. On the front we have nothing except for a SD card reader, which um, if you put in an SD card, let me show you, takes them in, but they are going to stick out like this. So that kind of sucks. <clears throat> then on the right side, as you can see here, I have two USBs again plugged in, 2.0, a Kensington lock, and a standard power plug for Samsung. We have the same battery as with the NC10. So let's start playing. <clears throat> New game, let's make eight players start and battery time is five or even six hours when you're using the wireless LAN as you can see we have 41 percent two hours and 39 minutes with the maximum brightness and playing right now like so this is counter-strike have to go out and go back in again <coughs> so as you can see here, we can move around fairly well. I only have one hand for gaming right now, so I'm just gonna kill myself here. So this was the Samsung One uh, N140 for the for Endeavor TV, Balash Gal. Check out unboxing and everything else on our YouTube channel Endeavor TV.